Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Just wanted to do a quick video and share with you guys a couple boas that are carrying a gene that I'm really excited about. And it's called the IMG or increasing melanin gene. Just like the name suggests, these animals start off really light and they gradually get darker over time with each successive shed. And some of them end up almost completely black as adults. I added a couple animals to my collection last year containing the IMG gene um, and I'm really excited about watching them grow and adding them to some future breeding projects. So just want to show you them right now. So this is an IMG hypo boa that was bred by Al Brown and you can see she has all of this really beautiful dark speckling already. I mean this animal is under a year old but she's already starting to show all kinds of this darkening. Um, she's been through a few shed cycles since I got her and I noticed she was a little darker with each shed. So what's kind of interesting is this is a hypomelanistic as well as IMG increasing melanin gene boa and it seems kind of a paradox but when you have a gene that actually adds more melanin as well as the hypo, which is a reduced melanin gene, basically you just get this increased amount of contrast. And so looking at this boa, there's like this uh, huge amount of contrast between the light and the dark areas. Um, when you breed it into albinos, you get the same kind of effect. You just get these cleaner areas that are light and it really enhances the red pigments in the albinos when you have the increasing melanin gene, even though the animals aren't even producing melanin since they're amelanistic. And looking at this uh, hypomelanistic IMG boa, you can see the crazy amount of background marking. So these animals have all kinds of freckles and speckles and intrasaddle markings. Just a really cool look. And this is a look that I like in some of my locality boas. So it's really cool to see it in these IMG morph boas. And so this girl is also hat for call albino. So one of the things I really look forward to is hopefully breeding her with my albino male and producing some um, IMG sun glow boas. And you know that's going to be quite a few years into the future. But I just look forward to watching this animal grow and hopefully pair up with that albino male um, maybe three, four years or so down the road. So a little bit about the history of the IMG gene. This gene has actually been around quite a while. It was first produced by Peter Call back in 2007. And he bred some hypermelanistic Colombian boas and was able to show that the babies have this IMG trait. It's either an incomplete dominant or possibly a dominant trait. So when you breed your IMG boa to a non-IMG, you'll get babies, about 50% of the babies will be IMGs. So another name for this IMG morph is Azabachi, which is the Spanish word for jet black. And it refers to not just that the animals, some of them get completely black over time, but they also have this beautiful sheen to the blackness. It's like this really glossy, um, beautiful black color. It almost looks like a Boleyn's python, if you've ever seen one of those. Just this beautiful, glossy black color. And so these animals, they're still relatively expensive. The IMGs start at about $1,000 for a straight IMG. Although I expect the price should come down because, you know, being that this is an incomplete dominant, you can breed it with a non-IMG and you'll get 50% IMG offspring. But, you know, these are such cool boas. They're in high demand, so they, pretty, they usually sell pretty quickly, even um, with the price that they're going for. And as I mentioned, they combine really well with other morphs like different albinos and sun glows. Um, so people are producing some really nice, clean looking sun glows by adding in the IMG gene. It just really adds to the contrast. Um, it deepens the reds and it cleans up the overall appearance of the animal. And one other IMG boa that I got last year, this is actually an IMG hypo jungle. 
uh, that was produced by Alicia Rogers. And this one, you can see that the jungle gene, in addition to the hypo and IMG, just provides overall a lighter color. You can see this animal has more of a tan uh, background color. But then you can see just the crazy dark colors and background markings from the IMG. And then looking at the contribution of the jungle gene, you can see that the dorsal surface, the back of the animal, is quite a bit cleaner than the sides. You can see the transition between the back and sides that characterizes the jungle gene. Um, but because of the IMG, you can see it's not completely clean like a jungle without the IMG. So just a really cool effect from these three different genes that are contained within this boa. Another thing about this boa that's really kind of uh, awesome to look at are the, the eyes of this boa. She just has these beautiful yellowish kind of eyes that really contrast nicely with her background markings. And you can see the markings on her head. There's obviously some influence from the jungle gene on the head uh, markings, the shape of the head markings. But the IMG also contributes and it adds this, you know, she, the darkness. And she's, you can see her snout is already darkening up quite a bit. So it'll be really cool to see how this animal uh, changes as she matures. Another thing about this animal is she's 66% possible hat for VPI T positive albino. And so, you know, one of the, probably the first pairing I'll do with this one is to pair her up with my male VPI T positive and fingers crossed that I might be able to produce some IMG VPI sunglows if she is indeed um, hat for VPI. So just a really cool boa. Um, I probably told you before, IMG is one of my favorite genes in morph boas and I'm really excited about these projects and I look forward to watching these animals grow. You know, one of the cool things is you never know exactly how your IMG boa is going to develop, especially when you're talking about combos with other genes. If you um, mix the IMG with certain genes like the uh, Motley gene and the Anery gene, you get boas that are almost pure black as adults. If you mix it with hypo or with jungle, the adults are going to be lighter in color than that. So, you know, there's no telling, you know, exactly what this animal might look like as an adult. Um, so, looking forward to the pairings of these two IMG boas, which probably isn't going to happen for at least another four or even five years. But, um, Breeding boas is always a long-term project. You just got to be patient and just enjoy the day-to-day -day operations. So that's a little bit about my two IMG boas. Hope this was somewhat informative to you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.